Hi, Glendora. How are you? Pleasure to see you. You're, you're known as oh, the, yeah. the happiness yeah. lady, well, is I'll that what they you. say? No. What do they call you? Glendora. Yeah. <laughs> And, and what did you say your name was? I'm Dave. I'll be the, no. My last night. <laughs> you are a very good interviewer. Well, thank you. And I'm going to recommend you for a raise. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> the, the recipe for happiness, David, is that there's one thing in this world that you can do better than anybody else. And if you will go by yourself, you will find out what that is. And you will do it, and you'll be happy. Now, if you don't do it, David, it's going to nag at you every second of your mm -hmm. life. So you find out what it is that you're good at. No, the one thing that you can do better than anybody else. The one thing you can do better than anyone else, yeah. and you just concentrate on that. Yes, you do. And then that'll make you happy. Well, sure, because you'll get everything you want. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do that for you and get it to you. And that tape I don't need, or do I need? The one that you've got there. This is you saying the blessing. So Would it be all right to leave that with me? And I'll make a DVD of it for a chat with Gondor? Or don't you want it on a chat with Gondor? You want it on yours first? No, oh, it doesn't matter to me. Um, there's just that one woman at the end who's talking about her grandson. And, um... I don't know if she would want that on TV. I guess you would have to ask her. Remember the woman at the end said that her grandson was leaving? Or her, her grandson was far, far away? Oh, um, she wouldn't want that on TV. I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe she wouldn't want that, but uh, um, so if you see her... there's nothing on there that I need, right? Unless you want the video of me of you videotaping the nurses. See this? Do you want uh, that? Yeah, but I don't want to keep it unless you, unless you can get along about it. Um, yeah, I can, I... How soon do you want it back? Oh, it's, I put it in my computer already. I do want to keep the tape. Oh, that's all. You just but, put the tape back. Yeah, you can um, yes, I'll do that. keep it and then just give me the tape. Okay, I'll do it and the, screen it. Next it's okay time. if I use any of it for a chat with Gondor? Oh, of course. Okay. You can use whatever you'd like. How are you doing, baby? I guess baby? just keep the, maybe um, put it up on the wall or something when you're done with it. Uh, I, why not, uh -huh. or, or I'll put it in an envelope or something. All right, I uh, just so it's safe. I will uh, return it to you just since I'm through with it. Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Uh, so I don't think that right here is where the stuff to videotape goes. Okay, me. I'm gonna write my. I'm gonna just write that this is my. Excuse me. Tape. I'm just going to put Victoria on it, so that way you, it doesn't get confused. And do you have a number on it or anything? Mm-hmm. Here's a, a label. Oh, I have a label here. John to you as soon as we get back. That would be the uh, the first interview. That would be the second. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what Walter, Barbara, and Glendora and John did uh, most recently is the third. And the fourth one was over the telephone because I couldn't get to Pittsfield because of the weather. Oh, yeah. And I did it over the telephone. I, and you know, he oh. always says the right thing, Victoria. Oh, that's great. He always says exactly the right thing. That's Even great. over the phone.
Did you go to Pittsfield with Hattie, or was that the day that got canceled? No, after Hattie, I went with Barbara and Walter. Oh. And they and I took the three DVD, the th recorders, the uh, monitor, and the CG, and uh -huh. we sat right down there and produced it. Oh, that's great! And that was that at the Christian Center. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Sheila was. Uh, did she? What did she think of all of that? Cheryl wasn't there Cheryl. for the past ten days, oh. and the other social workers didn't care. Nobody paid any attention. Wow. Well, a couple people came around and were amazed at what was going on. Mm -hmm. Well, you have everything back to normal in here. It looks great. Oh, yes. Did you know how it got back? No. Walt. Walt Hedden, oh, who great. also goes to the church. Oh, that's so great. And I how, said, yeah. How was it? Uh, how was it? Well, I think it was wonderful. I said to him <coughs> uh, after church, could you go to the museum and move back 33 piece, pieces to the happy house? Mm -hmm. Here, Vic, I'm going to put your brown sugar in. You want to come over? Sure. And uh, I said it's 22 DVD VHS combo. It's a monitor. Uh, I think that's enough. Yeah, that's plenty of fun. Oh, thank you. And uh, it's a character generator and a coffee machine, a desk board, uh, three two-drawer file cabinets. Uh -huh. And he said, that sounds doable. Uh, great. Now I get your creamer. Looks like, creamer looks like it was never moved out. No, that's right. <laughs> And he, you know what? He did it between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. all by himself. Oh, really? We had to make two trips because he has a van. Oh, that's enough. Thanks. He has a van. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's some biscuits, honey. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. And, uh, so a simple as that, Nick. Mm-hmm. As simple as that. Uh, there was one casualty, and uh, George Dixon said, Glendora, you've got to be careful moving those VHS, those DVDs, he says, because they have a laser. And, you know, lasers. Oh, yeah. But, you know, not one of those uh, got injured. Hmm. But we lost our Sony, the old, old, old Sony. Uh-oh. He ejects. He won't let anybody stay in. Hmm. That's... And that happened after the move? Yes. Just before the move. Oh. How do you like your porridge? That's great. Thanks. And I gave... I loaned to uh, Gregory the most expensive DVD VHS combo. It was the black one which will also take the satellite. Mm -hmm. So I loaned that to him and Sunday after the reading of the die instructions he went to the museum and he found the instruction book and the remote. So oh, he's, great. Happy. he's happy about that. That's really great. And I think I'll loan one to Kirk Dixon. Did mm -hmm. you ever meet Kirk Dixon? Mm-mm. Okay. I don't think so. Is he related to the... No, he then? isn't. And I found out that the Dixon spell it D-I-C-K. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. Isn't that porridge good? Mm-hmm. How was the meeting with um, the Slaters and the Dixons uh, on that day? I, I thought it was excellent. Great. Each one read a page. We went around and around. Mm-hmm. Or read two or three pages. Gregory was here, the two Dixons, and the two Slaters. Mm -hmm. and they all Great. took it very seriously. Mm -hmm. They made good contributions. They changed things. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very good. What are some of the things they changed? 
the spelling of Dixon. <laughs> uh, they don't think that I should leave copies of those three checks in there with a social security number and all the other numbers. Oh. Because uh, I, I am supposed to send it out to other people. Like, they said it just could be misused. Yeah, that's that's or, a really good point. Or be seen by somebody who would misuse it. Yeah. That's a very good point. <clears throat> I didn't even think of that. That fruit drink is good. You drink mm -hmm. yours? You want another one? Oh, no, thank you. I'm fine. This is a feast. These little glasses were given to us by Bruce Bergman. Oh. It has the B on it for Buell. Oh, how nice. Uh, there were some repetitions and they caught those. Mm -hmm. But they read the whole thing except the Andrew Hersman thing. So I think Andrew Hersman is out of it. He would have, so you called again and again and still Again and again, but I finally got him two, three days ago. And what he's doing is he's going to gift shops and trying to sell his Long Island postcards. Mm -hmm. uh, the scenes on Long Island that they don't put in the gift shop. They just put in Manhattan. They don't have Long Island things. Oh. So he thought there was a living there. But it's really exhausting. And mm. He goes to one gift shop after another. and He says he's lucky if he sells three a day. Well, I think that's pretty good to sell three a day. Yeah. That is good. But uh, he says, I'm not going back into the city. I'm not going. So, so he says, I'm not going to work for big corporations anymore. Oh, good for him. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with the, did you get laid off again? Yep. Yep. Aww. The nice man who favored him at uh, Reuters, mm -hmm. he moved out of the company and went somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's how volatile the business is, you know? So when one person leaves, then others. Usually there's one person that was keeping him around? Yeah, it was one. It, that's mm -hmm. right. Well, not exactly that. He, There was one person who, for whom Andrew had all the answers and could do all the technical things. Mm -hmm. And then NBC uh, doesn't call him much anymore. In fact, mm -hmm. not at all. So he says that he feels a lot healthier because of not being on that train three hours a day. Oh, yeah. And also, sure. uh, he's healthier because he doesn't have to put in three hours commuting and he has fresh air. He's out in the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. <clears throat> so I guess he's just been stressed and hasn't been able well, to call you back. No, it, the, the, the real fault is that he hasn't called since August 22nd, mm -hmm. but he hasn't returned calls. And I don't care how busy you are, you can certainly return a call. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the, he resists coming up here. <clears throat> so I think for the, I think he's probably out. Yeah. But Devin, I wish you could meet Devin. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll try to come back before I leave for Spain. Oh, I don't think you can. He comes on Fridays. Mm-hmm. Well... What Fridays are there left? The 18th and Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and I'm actually leaving on the 20th, 20th or 21st. Andrew and I are going to drive with Shay to his parents in Pittsburgh, or outside of Pittsburgh on the farm, and spend two or three nights there, <clears throat> and then we're driving to Philadelphia to spend with his, two nights with my family. And then we have to come back to Troy, drop Shay off at her Uncle Steve and Aunt Branda's house. Would they be good to him? Yeah, they have a country, you know, Steve Pierce from the media. Oh, I know Steve yeah, Pierce. Yeah, and Branda, who you've met a couple of times. Oh. They're married, and um, they have a country house out uh, Kind of near Chatham, Steventown. It's not too far from here, um, off of Route 66. And there's a doggy door, 
and Shay can just go in and out of the dog door and they have many, many acres for her to run around and she's very happy there. She is? Yeah, she's so happy. So she gets a lot of really good exercise. Oh, Shay won't stay with Andrew while you're gone? <clears throat> he's Andrew and not Andrew's coming with me. He's going to Spain? No, he, well, he's going to Argentina with me. So that's the you first know, Argentina. part. Argentina, what are you? Yeah, I thought I told you about that. That's our vacation. <laughs> Um, on the twenty, we're coming right back and then leaving at midnight on the twenty eighth to fly to Argentina to visit our friends who are American but have lived there for I think three years. And they're moving back to Maine. They just bought a house and they're moving to Maine from Argentina. So this is our last time to go and visit them. So we're going there for two weeks. You couldn't visit them in Maine instead of Argentina. <laughs> well. <laughs> I know Maine is remote, but it's not <laughs> as remote as Argentina. Yeah, exactly. Where about in Maine? Um, I think near Portland. Near Do you Portland. Know the name of the town. Oh, I thought the kitty was scratching. Nope. Um, near Portland, but I don't Thank know you. the town. I'd like to know. Yeah, I'll find out. Maybe it's near where you are. I know are. all those towns. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know all those towns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for <clears> heaven's <throat> sakes. I'll be gone for a bit, but um, so he'll he'll be in Argentina all the time. You're in Spain. No, I'm going to Argentina until the January 11th, <coughs> and then Andrew's coming back. Then Andrew is coming back, and, and he's watch. teaching. He's going to teach. <coughs> yeah, he's going to teach, and then I'm going to Spain January 15th to February 22nd. So, and is Andrew going to pick up Shay then? Yeah. And then so Shay will be with Andrew. Yeah, Shay will be with Andrew yeah. from well, January. Well, Shay loves Andrew. Yeah. And he loves her. They're good together. <laughs> so I will be gone, but um, I'll try to come back. When I get back between Argentina and Spain, I'll come out and see you. I'm home for a few days, so I'll come out and see you then. Well, that's wonderful. Before I leave, then for a month, so we can and touch base before I leave. Because I'm not going to be January reachable. 15th roundabout. No, I think my flight is January 15th. And yeah. so you'll be coming up the sec like the second week of January, between going to Spain. Yeah, between January 11th and the 15th, I'll come out and see you. Well, thank you. Somewhere in there. Nope. Maybe um, I can do some filming then. Uh, this is the first time you ever came and didn't have a camera. I know. <laughs> and it was just about Man. last year at these dates that you just mentioned. It was last year that you and Andrew came. Mm -hmm. And we started yeah. up uh, conversations, audio tape conversations, December 2008. We made the box. And now that's full. Oh, yeah. We made a new box. Do you have your autobiography cassette tapes? <clears throat> Do you have one or two I can make a copy of for the movie? Or are they... All right, sure. Uh, Some of the older there's ones? There's one I'm done with. Could mm -hmm. I have it back when you're through? Oh, of course. Uh, they aren't good. Are they the? Are these the old ones? No, there's one I've done. Mm -hmm. The rest yeah, are to be done. Videotaped. So you're videotaping the... Yes, I am. Because <laughs> uh, I have a friend who has a machine that will copy... Uh, copy those, so I wanted to make a copy or put it right in the computer. If his machine doesn't work. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Here's two. Are those the ones that start in 1950 something? Or where you're talking about that? I'll be right with you. I would say that this is. I would say that this is the way they go, wouldn't you? One, two, three, four. Yep. You can have one. Is okay. that one? 1928 to 38. Yep, that's the first one. Yeah. No. Cool. What did you say? Uh, are this the 19... What did you say? Oh, I, well, you I was wondering this if this was, this was the early years. And now I see on here it is. That's the earliest. 
this is great. Uh, and now I'm as far as the television, I'm I gave up on this and I went and then I said, I've got to give up, this just isn't coming through and so I told it to him. And it uh -huh. extemporarily. And where did I end? I ended in junior high school, which would be a very interesting year, nineteen forty one Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. and up to uh, 1946 graduating from senior high school and being a class president. Oh, great. And that's on this? No. Oh, no, this is 20. That's, that's up to uh, 1938 or so. Yeah. So you stopped playing the audio tapes because they didn't come out? Well, right? I, did la I did this last week. I don't know what about this next one. I might play it for you and give you an idea. Yeah, I want to see. Uh, but now... The other ones I never audio taped. What's the last one on here, Vicki? I went from the last one on here to the end of my life mm -hmm. <laughs> so far. And that is all extemporaneous on videotape. It is not on audio right. tape. So tell okay. me what is the... Tape 2 doesn't have any dates on it. Oh wait, yes it does. 1948. 1949, 1950 is on tape two. So 48 to 50. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It says it on the inside. Oh, looks like you have something in there. Which one is that? That's, a, one, that's today's tape. Oh, today's. What's your last one? Number four, take four is 1950, 46 to 56. No, 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 sorry, 1956. That looks to me like take two is done on that mm -hmm. side. So I'm going to turn it on the B side. Okay, then what I've got to do is when I videotape again and it's scheduled for over there. That's very interesting. Uh, D Day was supposed to be June 4th and the weather was so bad, and there were 13 generals, and uh, they all held a meeting, and uh, the weather was going to be bad on June 6th too. So Eisenhower cast the deciding vote for D Day. Wow. June the 6th. Oh my gosh. He's the one who cast the vote to, uh -huh. to go that day. Wow. Huh. Because of weather. Yes. Interesting. Weather's a big part of it, and that's what this is. This stuff is about. Yeah, yeah. Scary. I think so. Okay, well to ask to what I'm going to do next then is I'll go from, uh, what did you say it was? 1944, what did, okay, yeah. I'll finish out this tape, and then I will pick up at college, which is 46 to 50. I don't know how that helps you any. Mm -hmm. Well, this one says 1950 TV career stopped. So which one do you want? This is 1956. This, I think that, um, the earlier years are good. So like the first couple of these, I think. I got the second one over here. Honey. Yeah, but um, for now this one's good. Just start with this one. I'm just curious to hear it and make a copy of it. But I don't want to take them until you're, because now you're playing them on the TV show, right? Is that what you're doing? Are you ta are you taking the tape? Uh, just a second, be right with you. Uh, I have to cover up these electronics, sweetie. They should be in an electromagnetic field. Okay. I can use this, can I? Yeah. Can I use that? You're done with it? Mm -hmm. I'm all finished, thanks. 
Uh, well, the question was. Just get uh, out of the way. Oh, your biscuit. Yeah. Do you want to see? Oh, Thank you for see. taking that one. Sure. Vicky, uh, what was the question now? Are you taping the you playing the audio tapes? Are you taping yes, them? Yes, I'm trying to the... finish those. And as I say, the rest of the life is already on videotape without the benefit exactly. of audio tape. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, and they should all be in your possession on DVD. I believe I sent you a complete set of A Cat with One Door, November, October. Mm -hmm. I know November and October. I do have those, yeah. I and haven't watched every one, every single one, so. I did, I did get them. I have a very large stack of DVDs. I'd like to make the point that uh, the answers to many of your questions are on the DVD. Okay. On the show. Mm -hmm. Uh the answers as to what happened to you. Sanctuary, God first. And particularly the answer to the question of the daily routine. I really didn't give you a good answer, so I did it over. Uh-huh. I think I did it over twice. <laughs> oh, I... So anyway, I wanted to say the, the, the questions, the answers you're looking for are on those DVDs. Okay. Victoria, I saw the most stirring and most moving show on a cat with one door. I wish you'd have time to look at it. It's number 4702. Uh-huh. I'll write down for you. Number 4702. And it's when Robert Callagy died, who was a pitiful, typical Liar for hire mm. for Gannett and for when I sued Gannett and when I sued Cablevision. Mm -hmm. The terrible things that he stooped to. And this obituary of him in the Gannett newspapers was written by another liar for hire, Bruce Golding, a reporter. Mm -hmm. And extolling him for being the for being a lawyer in big, big name cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the big courts, you know, and I it took every paragraph of the obituary and refuted every bit of it and, and oh, told wow. the truth about him. And I said the great big, uh, big court lawyer ended up in small claims court. Mm -hmm. I wish you would see that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you read? Yeah, I'm good. You sent you sent this one to me. Yeah, this. You may have sent me 4702 because you sent me back years ago. 40, oh, that that's it's way back. It's way back in 206, 2006, yeah. 2007. But it's that, online, right? Excuse me. Is it on the internet? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I saw it. I was glued yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, I had forgotten completely about it, and yeah. I was just glued to it because. It told you everything about the nasty lawyer business from the New York Law Journal, you know, yeah. and, and somebody for a Gannett newspaper writing it mm -hmm. because Callagy was their lawyer and uh, everything they said about him was wrong. It was just yeah. the opposite. His life was just the opposite. And so he went through paragraph by paragraph. It was on for a good half an hour or more. Mm -hmm. But it's such a great piece because in just that little summary, it shows you the uh, slithering maggotry that they reduce themselves to. Yeah. It was so pitiful to it's see so a human sad. being to think that long. Mm -hmm. And it was so important to put point that out to people. Mm -hmm. It was a great piece, and I had, I had four years, right? Five yeah. years. Yeah. 